Welcome to my channel. Today's lesson is on collocations and figurative speech for advanced learners. We will be taking a look at some essential phrases that can help improve your English language skills. Now, do you know how to use the following collocations? If not, then keep watching. Because in part one, I will show you the collocations in the context of a story. In part two, I will break them down for you with examples of how they can be used. While the story itself has over 35 different collocations, ranging from intermediate to more advanced levels, we will focus only on the previous 10 in this video. But do leave a comment below if you can find them all. Now let me take a second to remind you to please hit the like and subscribe buttons to show your support if you find this lesson useful and engaging. Let's get started! In a quaint village nestled between rolling hills, lived a young woman named Emma. Even though everyone said she was naive, she decided to write a new chapter in her life. She took a chance and moved to the bustling city to pursue her dreams of working in the fashion industry. After a few months of getting settled, she took a break to explore her new home. As she wandered through the city streets, Emma caught the attention of a talent scout who was impressed by her unique style. This chance encounter would eventually allow her to make strides in the competitive world of fashion. Emma embraced the opportunity. She started doing homework on the latest trends and styles, determined to make an impact in the industry. She attended fashion shows and networked with influential designers, but she kept a promise to herself to stay authentic. Emma overcame many obstacles in her career by having conversations with experienced professionals who gave her valuable advice. She took notes diligently, absorbing their insights. Her dedication and effort didn't go unnoticed, and she started to receive opportunities to collaborate with renowned designers. Despite her success, Emma remained grounded and kept in touch with her roots. She remembered the small village where she grew up, and in every achievement, she cultivated gratitude. Emma also made an effort to share her experiences with aspiring designers, offering them guidance and encouragement. In the fast-paced world of fashion, where trends come and go, Emma kept a secret to staying authentic. She continued to have dreams, dreams that fueled her creativity and inspired her to make suggestions that challenged the norm. As Emma's story spread, she became a symbol of perseverance and success. She proved that with determination, risk-taking and effort, one could not only make progress, but also leave a legacy. And so Emma's journey continued as a testament to the power of making decisions and taking chances in the pursuit of dreams. To start off, writing a new chapter. Writing, in its literal form, involves writing words on paper. A new chapter is a new divided section of a book, but it symbolizes a fresh beginning, a significant change or a turning point in one's life. When someone talks about writing a new chapter, they are not advising you to pick up a pen and start scribbling. Instead, they are talking about making decisions that change the past. So let's look at some examples. After graduating from college, he eagerly looked forward to writing a new chapter filled with adventure. After graduating from college, he eagerly looked forward to writing a new chapter filled with adventure. And here is another example. A new chapter of her own story 
was about to unfold. A new chapter of her own story was about to unfold. After overcoming personal challenges, she was ready to start writing a new chapter in her life. After overcoming personal challenges, she was ready to start writing a new chapter in her life. To embrace opportunities is to take advantage of favorable circumstances. Embrace's literal meaning is to physically hug, but in this context, it symbolizes a mental and emotional readiness to welcome the potential offered by a given situation. Opportunities represent favorable circumstances, possibilities or chances for advancement, learning or positive change. When you hear the advice, embrace opportunities, it's not asking you to physically wrap your arms around something. Rather, it's an encouragement to adopt an open-minded attitude, ready to seize the potential for progress. Let's see some examples. It's crucial to embrace opportunities for professional growth. We can also use embrace in a similar manner for other abstract nouns. You empower people by embracing their differences. We are always eager to embrace the latest technology. To overcome obstacles is to successfully work through challenges or difficulties. The word overcome suggests conquering something that stands in the way. Obstacles aren't tangible barriers like walls or fences. Here, it symbolizes the challenges and difficulties that one might encounter on the path towards a goal. When someone encourages you to overcome obstacles, they're not urging you to physically climb a wall. Rather, they're motivating you to face the challenges that life throws your way. Some examples are The athlete's determination helped her overcome obstacles and achieve a gold medal in the competition. The athlete's determination helped her overcome obstacles and achieve a gold medal in the competition. You can separate the collocation like this. He overcame many obstacles to secure that deal. He overcame many obstacles to secure that deal. Or you can reverse the words into a sentence such as this. The only obstacles you have to overcome are in your mind. The only obstacles you have to overcome are in your mind. To cultivate gratitude is to nurture a sense of appreciation for life and its experiences. Cultivate involves the process of preparing and working on soil to grow something. Here, cultivate is nurturing or growing a mindset or emotion. Gratitude refers to the quality of being thankful. When someone advises you to cultivate gratitude, they are not talking about doing some farming or gardening. They are encouraging a mindset of thankfulness and appreciating the goodness that surrounds us. For example, practicing mindfulness can help cultivate gratitude for the simple joys of everyday living. Practicing mindfulness can help cultivate gratitude for the simple joys of everyday living. Cultivate the habit of being grateful for every good thing that comes. Cultivate the habit of being grateful for every good thing that comes. Through prayer, we can cultivate gratitude. Through prayer, we can cultivate gratitude. To remain grounded means to stay humble despite success. Remain is a word that means steadiness and continuity. It represents a sense of constancy. 
When we hear grounded, our minds think about images of an airplane safely touching down after a long journey. However, in this context, grounded is a state of being rooted, connected to reality, and anchored in our core values. When someone advises you to remain or stay grounded, they're offering more than a suggestion to keep your feet firmly on the floor. It's an invitation to stay connected to your roots, your principles and who you are. The opposite of this might be an expression like head up in the clouds. When we have our heads up in the clouds, it means we are dreaming, we are not connected to reality. Perhaps we are not sensible. Some examples of this include even after winning the award, she remained grounded, attributing her success to the support of her community. He remains grounded despite all of the fame. He remains grounded despite all of the fame. You help me to stay grounded. You help me to stay grounded. The expression to come and go means to be constantly changing. In its literal sense, to come and go refers to the physical act of arriving and departing from a location. However, it symbolizes fluctuation, change, and the transient nature of certain states or conditions. When someone mentions things or feelings coming and going, they are describing the forever changing nature of emotions. Some examples are as follows. She's seen a lot of employees come and go during her time in the company. She's seen a lot of employees come and go during her time in the company. Many businesses have come and gone. Many businesses have come and gone. Politicians come and go. They're all the same to me. Politicians come and go, they're all the same to me. Fuel creativity. To do activities that inspire new ideas and imaginative thinking. To fuel means to make something burn more intensely. Creativity means to use imagination and have ideas. When we talk about fueling creativity, we're not suggesting that you pour actual fuel into your imagination. It's a fancy way of saying you should engage in activities that inspire you. For example, nature walks and art exhibitions often fuel her creativity, sparking new ideas for her paintings. Nature walks and art exhibitions often fuel her creativity, sparking new ideas for her paintings. Or, my creativity is fueled by memories. My creativity is fueled by memories. And finally, boredom can sometimes fuel creativity. Boredom can sometimes fuel creativity. To challenge the norm is to question or oppose conventional ideas or practices. Let's break it down. Challenge isn't about a fight or a competition. It's an intellectual call to action. The norm refers to what is customary, usual or conventional. At first glance, it might seem like an invitation to fight someone called Norm, but it's a poetic way of encouraging change from the conventional. An invitation to think differently and question what we see as normal in society. Some examples are The artist sought to challenge the norm by creating thought-provoking and unconventional artworks. The artist sought to challenge the norm by creating thought-provoking and unconventional artworks.
He challenged the norms of Japanese society by crossing the road during a red light. He challenged the norms of Japanese society by crossing the road during a red light. He was fearless, not a big risk taker, but he wasn't afraid to challenge the norm. He was fearless, not a big risk taker, but he wasn't afraid to challenge the norm. To leave a legacy is to create a lasting impact or contribution that continues beyond your lifetime. Literally, leave implies physically leaving a place. But when someone talks about leaving a legacy, they are not suggesting getting up and going home. Here, leave means creating or contributing to something that lasts. In this expression, Legacy refers to the impact, influence, or contribution one makes during their lifetime. For example, environmental activists strive to leave a legacy of sustainable practices for future generations. Environmental activists strive to leave a legacy of sustainable practices for future generations. Michael Jackson left a legacy of groundbreaking music. Michael Jackson left a legacy of groundbreaking music. The kind of legacy I want to leave behind is one of honesty and integrity. The kind of legacy I want to leave behind is one of honesty and integrity. A testament to the power of something means evidence or proof of the strength or effectiveness of something. Testament is not a legal document, but a powerful statement or evidence of something. To the power of isn't a mathematical equation, but it suggests an extraordinary force or capability. For example, the flourishing community garden stood as a testament to the power of community collaboration in urban revitalization. The flourishing community garden stood as a testament to the power of community collaboration in urban revitalization. Our achievements are a testament to the power of teamwork. Our achievements are a testament to the power of teamwork. The changes in him are a testament to the power of encouragement. The changes in him are a testament to the power of encouragement. And that's a wrap, guys. If you have any more questions or suggestions, you can help me improve my channel and fuel my creativity by leaving a comment below. Although I am too shy to show my face at the moment, I promise you I'm a human being. It takes up a lot of my free time to create these videos for you and it would help me to make more if you bought me a coffee at www.coffee.com forward slash seriously English. I would be forever grateful. Once again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video useful. See you next time.